Hello friends, welcome. Today I'm going to show you unboxing, uh, not exactly unboxing, I'll tell you what happened of IFB Nepion SX1 and I will show you one wash demo cycle so that you will understand how it washes and all and uh, I'll also tell you how much time you can save with the dishwasher and pros and cons etc. So shall we get started? Yes. Before that, I have a small request. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and do some comments about this video if you have any questions or any anything about this video. Also your opinions do welcome. At the end of this video, I'm going to ask you one interesting question. Don't miss that. And uh, my name is KDR and you are watching TechLook KDR around the world. This dishwasher comes with a 15 place setting. Let me tell you one place setting. One place setting is equal to one plate, one uh, side dish, one soup bowl, one glass, one teacup, one saucer and five cutlery. If you have a 12 place setting, you have to multiply with 12. You have, you have 15 place setting, then you have to multiply with 15. So this dishwasher comes with 15 place setting. By the time uh, I come back from the office to the home, the product already opened and it looked like this. The delivery boys already opened because they have to make sure the product is delivered properly without any dents or scratches. So I couldn't record that, but let me show you. This is the IFB Nepion SX1 model and uh, this is the energy rating it has a a plus plus of energy rating it's going to use uh, 267 kilowatts per annum and uh, 2520 liters approximately and it's going to make uh, a noise of 45 decibels this is a 15 place setting let's have a look around On the back side, it is a pretty neat total black uh, sheeting, uh, water outlet, and the power cord. Let me open. It has total three racks. On the bottom rack, there is a vase for uh, pouring the salts. And uh, this is the U bent for uh, water outlet. And the center hole is for uh, water drain, and uh, the other uh, thing is to pour the salts. You need to use uh, IFB salts. This is a rotating arm. In the middle rack. This is a water uh, inlet pipe and uh, documentation. There's nothing else. Organizers for the spoons, etc. On the top rack, you can arrange all your spoons. The middle rack is adjustable, height adjustable and uh, the rotating arm for the middle rack. Let me close. There are already water drops inside you can see that this is because uh, be before they deliver it to the customer company is going to test to make sure the product is working fine right let me show you uh, the wash cycle 
I'm using some some of the vessels here. I'm trying to place all the vessels in an organized manner. So these are the vessels uh, that I'm going to put inside. And some plates, spoons, etc. Let me organize all these vessels on the middle rack, on the top rack, etc. And then uh, I will show you how I organized. So this is how I organized. Here I put uh, dishwasher detergent. I am closing it. Let me show you the bottom rack. Maybe this is not a perfect way to organize. Over the time I will get used to it. I put the box over there intentionally to see how it is going to clean if you don't place it properly. On the top I kept some plastic lids like uh, Tupperware lids and small bowls etc. On the top rack I arranged some of the spoons like this. Sorry for the shaky video, small video. I don't have any intention to upload it to the YouTube, so I just recorded just like that. I'm going to start the cycle. Let me select the wash cycle uh, for 50 minutes, and I'm going to give some extra rinse. So this is uh, extra rinse, so it's going to add some more time. If you select hygienic, then it's going to add uh, some more time. So this is for starting the cycle. Let me start. Okay, the cycle started. Let's see how it's going to wash. So the cycle is ended. Let me show you. Oh, it's very hot. You can see. Maybe in the video it's not clear. I can see all the uh, hot uh, vapor coming out. Okay, the glass is not placed properly. It went out and filled with water. So let me keep it aside. So you have to place the small glasses properly. Because of the water pressure, I think uh, it dropped off. Let me see. Okay, this looks clean. It, it cleaned properly, even though if, if I did not put it properly. Show you the glass. Glass cleaned properly. Let me show you the big bowl. And it cleaned properly. It dried up very nice still some water is there uh, maybe if I kept for some more time because of the heat might clean up properly but I opened little early these are the spoons it cleaned properly you can see the wash quality wash quality is nice are cleaned properly and uh, let me show you this plastic uh, Tupperware these are cleaned properly as I said water is left over maybe I have to keep inside for some more time with the heat vapor the rest of the water might dry up
on the top rack yeah spoons are cleaned properly i can see it I have cleaned uh, nice that's the cycle so you have seen the cycle right so that's how it cleans now let me give you my point of view my experience so um you have a lot of small small items like uh, small glasses small uh, uh, spoons uh, or small bowls etc etc to clean those small small things it takes a lot of time right so using this dishwasher i think definitely you're going to save around uh, 30 to 45 minutes for sure it's going to help housewives men's bachelors anyone they can save some amount of time with this uh, dishwasher it is very useful uh, i'm telling you and uh, the cons not only with this dishwasher it's with any dishwasher if you have a burnt vessels or uh, uh, let's say curd uh, fermented bowl or uh, milk bowls um, it's not going to clean properly so you have to use your hand clean it properly with the uh, this thing and uh, then put it inside um, instead of doing that after cleaning such uh, extensively so you can wash it directly instead of putting it in the dishwasher right so that is the only problem uh, with this dishwasher not only this dishwasher any dishwasher you take so there is no such dishwasher designed to clean our Indian burnt vessels or curd bowls etc. So, now I'm going to ask you one interesting question. So the question is what happens if there is no shadow exists in the world? Let me put it in this way. You are walking in a sun and you don't see a shadow. Or you are walking in the night light and you don't see a shadow. So what is the advantages, disadvantages? I know you are thinking the answer so let me know in the comments and thank you for watching till the end stay safe and don't forget your mask please